7 minus 7 times 7 plus 7. Looks simple, right? But depending on how you solve it, you might get 0, 7, or even negative 49. If you got any of those, don't worry, you're not alone. Let's see why they happen, and then we'll finally get it right. First mistake. Some people group the 7s and force parentheses where they don't belong. They do 7 minus 7, which is 0, and 7 plus 7, which is 14. Then they multiply those results together. 0 times 14, and say that's 0. Quick and confident, but totally wrong. Second mistake. Others go straight from left to right. They do 7 minus 7 equals 0. Then 0 times 7 equals 0. And finally, 0 plus 7 equals 7. It looks logical, but math doesn't really work that way. And the third mistake, the bold but blunt one. They start strong with multiplication. 7 times 7 equals 49. Then they add 49 and 7 to get 56. Finally, they subtract that from 7 and end up with negative 49. Closer, but still not right. So what's really happening here? It all comes down to the order of operations, often remembered as P-E-M-D-A-S or B-O-D-M-A-S. That stands for parentheses or brackets first, then exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And here's the key rule many people forget. When two operations share the same level, like multiplication and division, you always move from left to right, the same holds for addition and subtraction. Left to right, always. Now let's solve it properly. In the expression 7 minus 7 times 7 plus 7, no parenthesis, no exponents. So we start with multiplication. 7 times 7 equals 49. Now the problem becomes 7 minus 49 plus 7. Subtraction and addition are equal in rank. So we go left to right. 7 minus 49 equals negative 42. Then negative 42 plus 7 equals negative 35. And that's the correct answer. Negative 35. So if you got 0, 7, or negative 49 before, you weren't wrong for trying. You just skipped the rule that keeps math fair. Always follow the order of operations and always move left to right when they were equal in rank. What was your first answer before watching?